So this bike is pretty much All right guys, super stoked about what I got going on today. This bike is pretty much done until the winter time. I'm, I am gonna take the heads off this winter, do some head work and maybe a new exhaust, maybe a couple other things. But for now, I'm finding little things that I need to fix till then to get this thing where I want it to be. And one of those things is something I've been looking for for quite a while and I've tried a few different things to try to get what I want, but nothing has been working for me. Or it's been far too expensive for to get it to work for me. So this is what I found from a company in Canada called Coso North America. I have this multifunction four inch gauge. I got it from a company called uh, motorsport.com. So they had the best price I'd found. They shipped it really fast. Even though it was on back order, I waited for about two, three weeks for it because it had to come from Canada and then ship from motorsport.com to my house, whatever, it came. I talked to the people at COSO a few times about this, and this is a direct plug and play system for basically any Harley, depending on which model you get. This is the HD04. It fits most Sportsters and a few different Dynas. Um, it is a direct four inch drop-in swap. It has the uh, what is this 12 pin adapter on the back side with the housing for the trip button the features on this thing are pretty fucking sweet the main gauge is attack there's a digital speedometer a digital gear indicator digital fuel level sensor monitors oil temperature trip odometer obviously it also has a maintenance setting to where you can set a certain amount of mileage until your next maintenance it has a shift light indicator on it. It's got a lot of features that I'm gonna go over after I get this thing installed. And like I said, this is a direct plug and play system, so it's gonna be as easy as taking the old one out and putting this one in. I'm super excited about this thing because I haven't had a tack on here ever, and it's one thing I really want and one thing I feel like I really need for this bike if I'm gonna try to learn how to do more you know, wheelies and burnouts and stuff. So with that being said, it's gonna be a really straightforward install for this thing. Um, I'm gonna take the headlight, drop it down, take the fairing off, just to get all that out of the way. Take the whole gauge housing off, unplug it, and then take everything over to the workbench and swap it out. Cause I actually had to silicone that gauge in cause the housing didn't quite fit. So I'm gonna have to cut the old one out and then follow the instructions on how to set everything because you have to set it with size of your tire, everything like that. And then it also has seven or eight different colors you can switch from and like five different brightness settings you can swap to. Totally customizable. Yeah, again, super excited. Did my research on this. Hopefully it all works. I do not think the gear indicator will work for this year Dyna. From the paperwork that came with it, a lot of paperwork came with it to go over step by step how to install and set everything. I'm pretty sure it said only 07 to 08 Dynas for this gauge will work for the gear indicator. So I'm not 100% sure whether that's going to work or not, but it's looking like it's not. No big deal. I'm not too worried about a gear indicator. The most thing I'm, the biggest thing I want is the tack the shift indicator, and still have my speedometer and some of the other um, features on this. So without further ado, I'm going to get all this taken off, get the gauge housing taken off and unplugged and slap this baby in. Should be pretty cool. Okay, so I lied. I am not gonna be taking all this off. I'm just gonna be taking the windshield off. I'm actually missing a bolt right here. So I need to get new hardware for this windshield anyway. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop this off and that'll give me access to everything under here a lot better. There we go, it's that easy. Um, I don't remember what the name of this mount is, but it's a actual T-bar mount. It fits right in between the two bars and then tightens down with these two Allen bolts. And then I made my own sort of jerry rig system here, uh, but it works pretty well. So now all I gotta do is take these two bolts off the back backing plate, pop this off. Like I said, there's a lot of silicone on here that I had to use to glue this in place. So I need to cut this out, unhook the harness, hook the new one up, and we should be good to go.
I got the stock gauge taken out. And now this is the Koso gauge. Gonna slide in. Now, granted, I'm missing a few pieces. I need to get new gaskets for this to make sure this thing fits in here well and it's nice and watertight. Before I dig too deep into anything here, I just want to make sure this thing actually works. Plug her in. I'm gonna throw it on the bike just to see how everything works on it and make sure the tech and everything works. Yeah, that's the shift indicator light, and this is the white background. All right, so you got the gear indicator again. I'm not 100% sure if it's going to work. I don't think it is. You got this is the toggle for the triple odometer maintenance, all that stuff. Speedometer right now set to kilometers an hour, but I'm not going to go through and change all that stuff anyway. I just want to make sure the tack actually works. So I would call that a success for now. Um, again, biggest thing I wanted was the tag, so we're good on that front. Yeah, I need to order the new front and back gaskets for this thing, so it'll sit in here properly. That way I don't have to silicone this fucking thing again. I'm gonna have to run by Harley tomorrow, call to make sure they actually have them, because parts are getting harder and harder to find for this bike, because it's older. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully that's a fairly universal part. That's good news, man. At least this thing, you know, works. Fuck yeah.